Hello guys, it is mid-September. This is crazy. I am getting married three weeks from today, which is crazy, crazy. It is September 15th and it's all flying by. So this is my September 2017 mid-month mid budget report card. We're gonna jump right in. Um, not too, too much going on so far, but we got some big things coming. Um, so first, first paycheck came that is blocked out as always. Side hustle is only 3221. As you guys know, it is slow season for babysitting. Um, so I have just Amazon affiliate 3221. I do have a babysitting gig coming up next weekend. I'm babysitting for one of my coworkers' weddings. She's getting married two weeks before I am. And then um, I will have a YouTube check coming as well, which I think is actually gonna be one of my biggest months so far, which is exciting. Um, sinking fund transfer 17482. We'll get into that in a little bit. Security deposit $500. So this was the refunds that I had on my old apartment. Um, it was originally $850 security deposit, but there was some damage because of the cats um, and one on this whole big ordeal and going back and forth with them. But we negotiated on $500, which I am very happy about. So that is actually going to be going to our home fund. Um, it's going to be going right there. Um, which you'll see at the end of the month when I do the sinking funds there. Um, but Jamie and I discussed it and we decided we want it to go to that fund because we have to buy a lot of items for the new place. New couch, new bed, TV, all that stuff. I don't even own a TV. So we um, we have some stuff to buy. So it's gonna go to that fund. Um, sink, or Capital One 360, they are now doing their referral program again. So if you sign up in the link up below, in every single description box, mine, there is a referral link there. Um, if you just scroll down just a little bit, and if you sign up through that link, I get $20 and you get $25 for opening a checking account or savings account. And they are a very high yielding interest account. Um, it's one of the highest savings account interest rates that I've ever found, so it is awesome. Um, so definitely go check that out. Tithe is blacked out as always, because that's between God and I. Um, rent, 1580 as always, um, for the new place. That's paid electric was 39.12, which is good because it was a little bit below budget. Um, rent insurance, iPhone, internet have not been paid yet. Those will be paid later on. I leave these blank until I've paid them. That is how I, you know, determine what's been paid and what hasn't been paid and make sure that I make sure that everything gets paid and on track. All right, UFIT, which is my gym, 2319. Weight Watchers is 985. As you guys know, my work pays half of it. Um, groceries, so far only 3293. Um, that is just one trip to Aldi, and that was for hurricane prep. Um, so it was a little bit higher than $25. And this week coming up, it's gonna be higher as well because I'm gonna have to repurchase all the items that are getting, that were in my fridge and freezer every single thing has to be thrown out. So if you guys saw my update from Wednesday, I did a full live update of everything that happened during Irma. Um, go check it out and you'll see everything that you know happened and all the devastation, everything. So go check that out. And um, there'll be another big grocery haul coming up to replace those items. Um, eating out 597 was one trip to Chick-fil-A. And let's see, gas was 26.51. Um, I filled up right before the hurricane um, and got gas. I had to get up at four o'clock in the morning to get in line for gas and I still had to wait 20 minutes even then, but that's better than the hour or two that most people were waiting. Um, and I still have pretty full tank of gas, so that's good. Driver's license, $27. Um, I had to change my license. I still have to change my registration. Um, I thought I could do them both at the same place, but apparently not. Um, flowers, so I had to pay for my flowers um, for the wedding. So that came out of the wedding budget, um, and that was $290 for everything, which my wedding planner told me to expect a couple thousand for that but I found a really good deal. And we're not doing floral centerpieces or flor flowers at the church. So that cuts down tremendously on the cost of the flowers, which is great. Um, so 290 for that, and that is paid in full. 
Um, a friend's birthday gift was $27.71 that came out of my gifts, gifts sinking fund. Um, Teeny was $67.98. I purchased some new Teeny. As you guys saw in my Teeny review, I absolutely love Teeny. It has really helped to keep me regular. Um, I have intestine problems and stuff, and so that's something I struggle with, but I haven't had any issues at all since starting Teamy, so I absolutely love it. I um, purchased more of the Teamy colon and also bought one of their tumblers, which I'm really excited to try. Um, if you use the code BUDGET15, you'll get 15% off your purchase, which is huge. So use BUDGET15, and all the links and everything are down below in the description box for that. And it is an affiliate link, so um, I do get a tiny little bit of kickback from it, but it is you know, still giving you that great discount. Um, deals, I had to get some stuff for the wedding, like tissue paper boxes for um, gifts and different things like that. Um, so that was $13.91. And deals is um, very similar to the Dollar Tree. Um, sparklers for our grand exit at the wedding was $133.20. So that came out of the wedding budget, which is so exciting. Oh, that's one of my favorite parts of the wedding is sparklers. Debt, debt is paid off as you guys know. I did get lots of questions on why I keep my debt in my budget um, in my last Dumbing Debt Friday video. So if you haven't checked that out, go watch it. Um, and my reason for that is I like to see what it, where I came from. You know, when I paid off $22,000 worth of debt and um, just being able to see that and see how much I've accomplished from it, it just keeps me so motivated. And I don't wanna forget my roots. I don't wanna forget you know, how hard I've worked. And it just inspires me to keep working hard for my next goal. Emergency fund is sitting at $1,000. Um, as I've said before, that stays is gonna stay at $1,000 until after the wedding's paid for. And your remaining wedding money that we have, it's gonna go to baby step three. And then we are gonna kick baby step three into high gear. We are going to get through really quickly and then start baby step four, five, and six. All right, sinking funds. I don't fund these until the end of the month. Um, so you guys will see them there, but just to give you a current running total, Christmas fund is at 180, clothing is at 38.52, laptop fund is at $270, car repair fund is $230, home fund is $1,071.12, Gifts fund is at $814. Um, this is kind of partial with my wedding fund. I'm going to be um, chipping in to pay for the girls' hair for their updos and part of their makeup as well. So I wanted to make sure that this was very um, full for that so I can gift them that as part of their wedding gift for me. Um, vacations is $164.98. Wedding fund is sitting at $10,435.93. Medical is at $92. Car insurance is at $1,056. Runner's insurance is at $10. Um, so that is the budget, as you guys can see here. Um, total save for the wedding so far from just me is um, $14,917.23. So um, we are so close, guys. Um, the $30,000 between what I've saved and Jamie saved, it is awesome. So we are definitely going to hit our goal which is so exciting um, and like i said any leftover money is going to go straight to the um baby set three which is awesome all right guys so let me know how you guys are doing in your budget let me know if you have any questions i would be so happy to answer those from you um next friday will be my dumbing debt friday q a so stay tuned for that leave any questions that you have for that and i am so excited for that video i will talk to you guys later bye